I am back. You guys, I have taken just a little bit of a hiatus from this YouTube channel and I finally am ready. I am back. I have the motivation. I have the time. I have the energy and I'm really excited to be back on this channel kind of walking you through what has been going on for the last year of my life. Um, if you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I will link those below. I share just about my entire life on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure you are following me there. I wanted to take the time today to make a video and really just like explain my whole entire healing journey, kind of from the beginning until where I am now. Um, the biggest question I get asked is kind of like my journey, where did I start, how did I learn this information, how did I heal myself, things like that. So today I wanted to take the time to just like sit here, chat, explain everything um, from start to finish, where I am now, how I'm feeling, um, transition into Miami. Um, so stay tuned okay little disclaimer this is my story this is my journey this is what worked for me no two healing journeys are the same no two illnesses are the same what worked for me might not work for you and so this is just me bringing awareness to natural healing um, amongst chronic illness people so just disclaimer that this is my story if you are new here my name is madeline i am a holistic and integrative health coach I specifically help people with chronic and mysterious illnesses, um, which strongly relates to my personal story. Um, so let's just get right into my healing journey and get down to all the details. I was chronically ill just kind of starting like just as I exited the womb. Um, I was super allergic to all sorts of medications. I was allergic to, to cow's milk. I was allergic to um, any sort of medication, any sort of ointment. Um, and I was always having things like allergic reactions on my skin. I was having swollen joints. Um, my body would completely freak out if I had like a mosquito bite, um, things like that. And so it kind of started with like small things like that um, and like small little ailments here and there and kind of progressed worse and worse and worse. So it progressed from like issues with my food and over-the-counter medications and then it started in elementary school I had learning differences and so I had issues kind of with reading comprehension and so that was an issue and then I started getting stomach issues and really couldn't hold down any sort of nutrition and so because of that I was very very skinny and very very frail um, and then it kind of went into eczema and psoriasis and then from there it was chronic fatigue syndrome and then brain fog, and then thyroid issues, Hashimoto's, hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, and then it really vitiligo, and then worse and worse and worse. Until I was 22, I had just graduated college and I had a face full of acne. I was sleeping five hours of the day. I was having insane bloating issues, chronic bloating, H. pylori, um, wasn't keeping anything down and I really reached a breaking point. Um, I also was diagnosed with Lyme disease at this time in my life, and so I'd gone to a homeopathic doctor's for my entire life. My mom raised us kind of more on the natural side. Um, we went to homeopathic and alternative doctors and chiropractors, and we really focused on Chinese herbs and supplements, um, acupuncture, and um, things like that, but it never ever did any one of my doctors or professionals or practitioners ever touch on the importance of diet. And so I was always bringing this question to my doctors, like, what about diet? What about diet? Um, and they're like, oh, I know, like, they, I've been going to them for years and years and years, and they'd seen my siblings and my mom and my aunt and my cousins, and they're like, oh, I know that you guys are health conscious and you're like, my mom wasn't doing any seed oils and she was conscious of hydrogenated oils and she was more conscious, but she wasn't as conscious as she needed to be for me to heal. And so finally I was 22 years old. I went to my doctor, I had a face full of acne. I was just kind of beside myself and I was like, listen, I'm here. I will do whatever you tell me to do. Like we need to figure out like what the heck is going on because I can't not live like this any longer. And so I, 
was prescribed all these protocols and tinctures and Chinese herbs and body scans and blood work and I mean if you're chronically ill you know the entire the whole spiel so um, I went to him for about four months in a row and my main concern was my acne and like my energy levels and my stomach issues my stomach issues started to kind of subside my energy levels started to get better but my acne was just worse and worse and worse so after like the fourth or fifth month i uh, had like a sit down with him and i was like look what you're doing for me isn't working the information you're providing me the supplements and this it's not working like what's what about diet like and i always had this red flag in the back of my mind like diet 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 is a constant we are consuming food three times a day three meals a day two snacks juices um liquids and then also what what else we're consuming is the products so like the products you're using on your skin and your hair um your fingernails the products you're using for your laundry and your kitchen and your bath all things like that and he never could tell me an answer a clear answer so i left his, that doctor's office that day um and i told myself i was not going to be treated like this anymore. I deserved answers, just like every single person in this world deserves answers. I deserve to feel great, I deserve to heal, and I deserve to not live in misery. And so instead of using that kind of anger leaving his office to play the victim and be sad about myself, um, I really motivated my inner healer. Um, I felt that I was going to do this myself. I told myself I was motivated and determined to get down to the deep rooted issue because I could not live like this any longer. So coincidence, the universe is always on our side. I was on Instagram and I came across this girl who had healed her acne naturally. And so I started following her. I started following other practitioners. I started diving into non-toxic living and I really just started gathering people that I trusted. I started listening to podcasts and books and um, I really just dove deeper into the importance of using food as medicine and non-toxic living. Um, so the products were, that I was using, um, I cut out inflammatory foods and foods that were triggering the growth of the toxins and the bacteria that were present in my body. And so I cut those out and I started adding in a bunch of juices and smoothies and um, healing vegetables and soups and broths and supplements and teas. and. I started getting outside every day, I started grounding every day, getting in the sun, I started swimming, um, and really just like connecting so much more to my physical body. And so I had been doing that for about a year. Um, I stopped partying, I stopped drinking, and I really just took a year to like focus on myself. I was obviously chronically ill for 22 years of my life, so it took a lot of kind of motivation and determination and like a, my healing journey is a little longer because I was sick for so, 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 so long and my toxicity level was so high. So I had been doing it for a year. Um, some of my symptoms had gotten better, um, but the acne was really the first symptom and issue why I started the healing journey. Um, it was the first element that like I really couldn't hide because it was on my face. And so after a year, I was like seeing other people's stories and I was like, I've been on this for a year and I haven't seen the results that I was hoping to see. And I was just in this comparative mindset and I was comparing my journey to other people's journeys and it was just very bad mentally and emotionally. So another sign from the universe, I came across this intuitive healer on Instagram and in the back of my mind, I was always like, I need to book a session with her. I need to book a session with her. And it was just one of those things where like I never, I never did it. And she posted on her Instagram story that she had a slot open and it was 50% off. And I was like, responded right away. And I was like, okay, this is a sign that like, if I do this session, I think it was like 30 minutes or like an hour. I was like, I lose an hour of my life. I, use, I lose some money. If she tells me one thing that will be worth it, like this, this will be worth it. So I booked the session with her and she, I kind of explained what was going on. And she was like, okay, you have the, the physical side down. Like you are doing the juices, like you are to a T. She was like the mental and emotional side to healing is shut off for you. You are, have limiting beliefs. You don't believe you're gonna heal. You um, don't give your body grace. You don't um, give your body enough credit. If you do one thing wrong, like if I ate something that was like bad, I would go into this massive mental and emotional spiral for days and days and days. Um, which ultimately is so much worse. And so mentally and emotionally, I was just shot. And that's what really, really 
made me realize um, and what made me hone in on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual aspect to healing. You can do one thing completely right if you're doing all the physical side. Um, that's great, but if mentally and emotionally and spiritually you're shut off and you don't think you're gonna heal and you have limiting beliefs and imposter syndrome, then ultimately it's not gonna work. So within about like two weeks of me changing my mindset, um, I started connecting more to myself and how I was feeling. I journaled, I spent time alone with myself, by myself with no cell phone, no podcast playing, no music, no TV on. I sat outside and listened to the birds chirped. I grounded at the o in the ocean. I grounded in the park. I really just craved and got as much connection to my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual body, to nature, to grounding, and really just like connecting and aligning with myself. Um, you guys, I'm literally, I'm not even making this up to within two weeks. The vitiligo on my face was gone. My acne was 50% better. No more bloating. My energy levels were great. And uh, one thing that this intuitive healer really made me realize is my identity. So my entire life, I was chronically ill and I was sick. My entire identity was that I was a sick person. My identity was that I was going to live with this for the rest of my life. My identity was I was chronically ill. And she made me really realize that like you need to, that I needed to completely shift my identity from somebody who is sick to somebody who is healed. And so when I started changing the, the mindset and went from a sick person to a healed person, I wasn't completely healed. I was in the process of healing. But when you change your identity and your mindset and kind of like your energy and your emotions around um, kind of where you want to be, um, aka this is manifestation. Um, so I was embodying a healed person and within a couple weeks, like it was incredible the amount of healing that I had done just from aligning and connecting to my physical, mental, and emotional body. Um, and so I obviously had the whole physical side down, so I was already detoxing and doing all that for a year. Um, and like it was almost just like the missing link once the mental and emotional side kind of clicked, it all clicked together and then I was on kind of this auto path of healing. Um, and I also just want to do like disclaimer, like this is my story. This is like how it worked for me. No two healing journeys are the same. Um, no two illnesses are the same. So just kind of recognize that like this is my journey and my story. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was insane how kind of everything started, started coming together. And so um, I, after those two weeks, I was embodying this person that was healed. I was socializing and I was having all this energy and I would wake up feeling amazing and I was happy. And so it really, really, it really, really matters and dictates kind of your mental state dictates your reality. Um, and so that's why I'm super passionate about holistic healing in the sense that physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies should all align. Um, and also just non-toxic living, bringing you back to the basics, watching your diet. Um, and also just watching like the what else you're consuming. So like the media you're consuming or the friends you're hanging out with um, or anything, anything really that you're consuming in your life. Um, so that is my healing journey kind of in a short like 10, 15 minute video. I know that there's so many aspects to healing journeys. So many people have so many questions. You guys can leave any questions, comments um, down below. I'll respond to them all. Um, I'm linking my TikTok and my Instagram down below as well. If you have any questions regarding any sort of healing or recipes or manifestation or mindset shifts, anything like that, I'm here to help and I would love to be an asset to you on this journey. So let me know if there's anything I can help with. I will be continuing to make um, videos, I'm hoping like every week. And so maybe it's a recipe video, my morning routine, night routine. Um, what I eat for lunch, what I eat in a day. I moved to Miami last year and so there's an abundance of fruit here. There's an abundance of amazing farmers markets and produce and farms and so take you guys along for vlogs and days in my life and things like that. So I've been rambling and this is just getting way too long now. But like I said, if you guys need help with anything, I am here to help kind of move you along in any direction, manner that you need. So just let me know and stay tuned for so much more healing content. I'm motivated. I'm here. I'm determined to push out as much content for you guys as possible. And we are on this healing journey together. We're healing together. Um, healing is happening and 
your chronic illnesses do not define you. Um, okay, that's it. Bye guys.